So this is a video about Midas GTS NX and I will talk about this quick start guide uh, to tell you how you can uh, start quickly on the software and uh, learn all the basics and the workflow. I will talk about all these points, uh, how to handle the model, the basic workflow, the, how to, you can assign the material model, the boundary conditions and the loads and talk about the meshing. First of all, let's come back to the basics. So what is the finite element method? Well, it's a method that is a kind of approximate method to uh, calculate uh, some engineering uh, results on uh, physical models by dividing them into finite elements, uh, which also are called elements. And you have also nodes. Uh, and this all is called mesh meshes. Now let's go to the software and talk about uh, the type of analysis you can do. So you can perform a GTS NX 2D and 3D geotechnical FEM analysis. Uh, I'll show you directly in the software how it works. So when you open a new project, you have a window which appear and you can choose 3D or 2D. You can choose the unit system and you just have to click on OK to uh, go on the modeling. Now to import the CAD model in GTS Annex you can go in the menu on the left, go into, under the import uh, tab, you will find all the options to import the CAD, to uh, import the DXF file um, and uh, everything. Now let's talk about the workflow in GTS NX. And so the first step will be to import the CAD model that you have. It can be a DXF file, for example. Then you'll need to create the solid and the surface uh, associated to this using the geometry creation tools uh, provided into GTS NX. And the last step will be the mesh generation uh, in the software. So it can be done either automatically or manually. So if I go in GTS Annex you see that uh, I have a model which is composed of several solids. Uh, it would be typically what you will have if you import a CAD model. Um, then you will have to create the mesh from this. Uh, I already did the, the job so here this is the meshed model and you see that if you go in the walk tree you'll have access to the different uh, mesh set and you have the characteristic of each of these mesh sets in the property window. Uh, you have at the same time all the properties about the materials that are assigned to this, the properties uh, that are assigned to the mesh sets and you can uh, assign the boundary condition and uh, do the analysis. Now, you have several special features for the spe faster modeling in GTS Annex. The first one is the auto connection. So it helps you to create the uh, common face between the different solids. So uh, it's very easy to use. You only have to select all the solids in the model and click on auto connect to automatically create the sharing phase and then when you perform the meshing all the nodes will be connected uh, well together. The second feature is the auto imprint so when you have pile foundations for example the imprint of the pile in the solid uh, can be generated automatically using this feature and the last one is the hybrid meshing which is very useful as well uh, if you uh, have a big model because uh, instead of creating tetra elements like most of uh, FEM software you can create hybrid mesh composed of tetra, hexa and pyramid elements. These elements will be uh, will give you better accuracy and also uh, decrease the number of elements needed in the analysis so your analysis will be faster at the same time. So if I uh, go in the software again, 
you'll find the the special feature in the tab so that here you have the imprint feature the auto connect feature and in the meshing tab for the 3d uh, meshing you'll find the hybrid mesher uh, here so here my model has been meshed using the hybrid mesher so you can see you have hexa element and you have tetra element inside to uh, some position. So this is fully automatic measure. Now let's talk about the material models in uh, GTS Annex. So uh, GTS Annex provides 15 material models that can be defined uh, as you need. So uh, you can go into the material property. You have the choice between isotropic, autotropic, or other type of material and then you click on add you can choose the type of model you want to use so elastic von Mises Molkulen uh, hyperbolic or you can even use use a supply material if you want to do your own uh, subroutine in Fortran you can also import uh, materials from a previous project in directly into your new project so you don't have to define again all these material properties each time. Now let's talk about the contacts. So contacts are a special feature that help you to connect together the different mesh sets that may not be linked together. So there's two cases uh, which are Typical, which typically require the use of the contacts. The first one is when you are, uh, your mesh sets are not connected. So when you didn't create the shared phase between the mesh sets, or maybe when it was difficult to create it, you can mesh them as well and then use the contacts to connect them. The second uh, way to use contact is when you're using different type of mesh together. So here in the photo you have hybrid mesh together with uh, tetra mesh and you need to assign contacts so uh, it can be assigned very uh, easily by uh, simply going into selecting contacts selecting the different mesh sets you click on ok and the contact will be uh, assigned automatically then uh, let's talk about the boundary conditions. So uh, you have different types of boundary condition in uh, Midas GTS NX. So basically you have to assign this boundary to remove the degree of freedom that are not permitted. So the first one you can do is to assign the, the ground property. So it will automatically uh, consider the shape of the model and block the, the edges. Uh, as it is required for the ground. Then you have different more advanced types to uh, consider any type of uh, boundary condition. You have also different types of loads that can be assigned to the model uh, and it depends if you are doing static, dynamic or other type of analysis uh, in Midas GTS NX. Uh, loads can also be assigned directly on the geometry instead of the mesh so it's quite convenient if you delete the mesh sets and you uh, mesh again for example then you have the choice of uh, uh, different types of loads in function of the analysis you're doing the dynamic loads for example when you're doing an uh, earthquake uh, or nonlinear dynamic analysis for example and also static types of loads. Now about the meshing. So mesh se meshing is the most important step in the FA model creation and mesh quality uh, directly affects the quality and the efficiency of the analysis. So in GTS Annex it's very easy to create the mesh using the auto measure. So you have the default tetra or you have the hybrid measure. Uh, and you can also create manually the mesh using the protrude options for example in order to get uh, the mesh you need. You have some tools as well to check the mesh quality because it is required sometimes to get better accuracy of the results. 
you have a uh, different type of analysis type and solvers uh, which are included in GTS Annex so you can choose between them when you're creating the analysis case so it can be linear, nonlinear, dynamic, consolidation, cpager, etc. Uh, and then the solver will uh, take in charge all the data you input into uh, the interface and it will uh, calculate all that uh, and uh, give the results to the pre-post. So if I show you in the software uh, if you go in the analysis tab, general, here you have all the type of analysis. Then you can enter name, and you just have to drag and drop the condition you want to consider in the analysis you are performing. You have some analysis control options, uh, for example, for the water level, if you want to automatically consider the water pressure in the soil, uh, all this option are different in function of type of analysis you are doing and then you click on OK the case will be generated and you can run it and get the result into the solver now um, now uh, you when you get the result uh, you can go into the pre-post in order to see the different types of results so in my case to activate the post view here I already calculated this model so I can go into the results tab and stage by stage I can view the results so you can drag this small cursor select the type of view uh, you want to, to see and you will be able to see the results directly here uh, I will hide the geometry first okay and you have some options like, for example, the clipping plane in order to cut uh, the model. Uh, it's fully uh, orientable. You have the ISO surface to, to view, for example, here the displacements which are uh, smaller to a certain value in the ground. You can all as well create different surfaces. Uh, for specific value here you can see uh, on the PAL for example a different value like the probe which will uh, help you to get the value uh, at any point and of course the value will be updated in function of the result you are viewing if you are uh, looking at for example the solid stresses you see uh, you'll have the stress and the soil Plastic, uh, plastic stresses. So, uh, for example, using plastic stresses, you can view where in the cell you have a failure, uh, where you have unloading, uh, reloading of the soil. All this can be uh, viewed on the model. Okay, now you are ready to go and if you have more questions uh, you can always uh, send us an email to info at midasuser.com and we'll answer uh, to your questions. You can also go on our social network channels like Facebook, LinkedIn or uh, our channel for Midas GTS Annex on YouTube where you'll find new videos and tutorials uh, about the softwares.